What up, what up, what up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome back to another episode of Pop Culture Junkies. Today I was going to talk to you all about the 9.8 myth, but it turns out there's even more acetate gate controversy going on. These motherfuckers are really going back in for round two. All right, y'all, I really did have a, a video I wanted to talk about a lot of stuff around grading and 9.8s and why the 9.8's a myth and there should be 9.9s and more 10.0s out there. But it looks like our heroes over at Black Flag Comics have decided to pull another acetate gate. I heard through the grapevine and through some people saying on, on Facebook, Reddit, and elsewhere that Black Flag Comics, like, they were showing up uh, at a convention this weekend and they were gonna have some more of their acetate covers there, right? Same cover we talked about in the last video where they stapled a acetate cover on an already printed, already been on the market comic that wasn't selling because they needed to get rid of product, right? You made a shitty variant, you couldn't get rid of it, so you pulled this and, and dumped it on the market, all without Marvel's knowledge, right? Like Marvel isn't happy about the situation, just FYI. I actually hope they pull this this company's card and they don't get to do variants again for them. That would be my ultimate wish because I think it's shady. I don't like the practice. I don't like what they're doing here. I don't think it's right. Those of you that enjoy it, I'm glad you enjoy it. You, you go live your life. But some of us don't have to enjoy it and don't appreciate the trend that it's setting. The reason I don't appreciate it, like I've said before, is because I have books I have books that we know creators signed. We know they were the only copies of them, and CGC won't verify that when I send it in. But they'll verify these acetate covers with extra staples put through a book after the initial manufacturing process, right? This isn't at the time of manufacturer that it has four staples. These are things put in later on a book. If you or I staple some shit to a book, guess what? No good. No good anymore. For some reason, CGC is allowing this to continue. What I did was I went out to validate, right? Is this really happening again? So Ultimate Fallout 4, facsimile edition number four, and you can see the In God We Trust Acetate Edition. We've already talked about this one. I want you to pay attention to these numbers here because we're going to come back to them. One 10.0, five 9.9s, and four 9.8s. All of them 9.8 or above, and five of them at 9.9. Hmm. So they also have a Ghost Rider. Number one, we have this Zymotica versus Acetate Edition. What the f is this? What is this book? Where do you think it came from? Yep, it's coming from Black Flag. It's supposedly for sale tomorrow. And look at these numbers. One 10.0, three 9.9s, and six 9.8s. You're telling me you sent in 10 books and three of them were 9.9s and one was a 10.0? That's some amazing fucking odds right there. For those of us that grade books, especially in big ass batches, that is amazing odds right there. Just to see a 9.9 .9 or 10.0 out of a stack of books is amazing. To see multiples in a small 10 book sampling, I can guarantee you right now, if I go to your local comic shop, the day their books are delivered, right? The day open the box from diamond or penguin whoever's distributing nowadays maybe not penguin because they tend to treat books like shit, but open the box and i take out 10 fresh minty untouched box not damaged no issue books and send them in i will bet you that they will almost all come back 9.8 or 9.6 like i would bet you cash on that i will send in 10 books straight out the box and they will not get above a 9.8 the fact that they have somehow managed to get a three 9.9s and a 10.0 out of 10 books total, fucking astronomical, dude. Unreal odds with this shit. If you look over at Deadpool Nerdy 30, the book was published in 2021. 2021. And what do we have here? 99 Problems Acetate Edition. What's that? Oh, look, there's one 10.0 three 9.9s and six 9.8s. 10 books sent in again. Out of 10 books, four of them are 9.9 .9 or above. 10 books, right? Out of just 10 books sent in, they had four of them 9.9 .9 or above. 
And you're probably thinking, well, maybe they just picked the best ones. They just picked the best printed ones. This book's been out since 2021, dude. It's been out there. They just picked the ones they had. They just picked 10 of them. Before this, if you look down here, here's the regular 99 Problems Edition, the one that was already out. There's over 140, 187, almost 200 of these books sent in, and not one of these is a 9.9 .9 or a 10. How the fuck? How it's like this shit does not add up. Clearly, this company has a deal with CGC, right? Clearly, they have a deal with them. And this is the part like I hate it because it's making me go into conspiracy theory territory, and I feel like I'm ready to put on my tinfoil hat. But just knowing how hard it is to get a 9.9 .9 or a 10.0, the fact that this company sent in 10, 20, 30 comics, they got one 10.0 on each batch, they got three or more 9.9s in each batch, and these are books they had to handle to staple a new cover on. And you're telling me there wasn't an, an inch of damage on, like, it's, it doesn't add up. Like, it doesn't add up how this could be. It's clear, I think they actually messed up on the first one. I think they actually were supposed to have the same breakdown on this Ultimate Fallout. I think it was supposed to be one, three, and six across all of them, and CGC's shitty quality control actually fucked up their fraud. It's pushing me this close to just cut fucking ties with this company, man. This is unbelievable, and it's, it's clear that there's more going on on the back end here than anyone wants to talk about or acknowledge. It's clear now that there's a partnership between this company and CGC to defraud the public. We're paying them under the assumption that they're going to grade our, our collectibles in good faith and that we're seeing that that's not the case here, that you can buy a 10.0, that you can buy a 9.9. .9. And to be honest, if that's the case, CGC, just tell me how much, cause I'll fucking pay for it. If I got a book that's gonna flip enough for 10.0 or 9.9, .9, fuck it, just say what it's gonna cost and let us all in on the game. This goes back to, again, the video I really wanted to put out for you today about how fraudulent 9.8s are. And these acetate editions are just bringing that to light. I have really, uh, um, I hate to bash someone else's company, um, I'm, even though I just spent like 10 minutes doing it to CGC. And I don't wanna come on here just to bash Black Flag. I can't stand by what appears to me to be an unscrupulous company who's just got some shady business practices overall. I would hope after the backlash of the first book sales that they would rethink these practices. I don't think that they have the ethics to do that. Like, I don't think they have the moral compass to do the right thing. The right thing would be to destroy all these fucking books right now. The right thing to do would be to take all these graded books and destroy that shit. The right thing on CGC's end to do would be to remove all of them from the census. That would be the right thing to do. I don't think CGC is going to do that. I don't think they give a shit about you or me. I think they care about stacking their bank account and they're going to do whatever it takes to continue to do that. Again, I, I can't, it's so hard to move away from them because of the loss of value on my collectibles is so high with CBCS. It's just getting tougher and tougher to do business with them, guys. I'm never gonna buy a black flag book. Every time I see those books right now and I see these inflated prices with these shill bidders on eBay, like it just has this entire subculture around this collectible from this company in particular is just so fucking shady. I don't want to be a part of that. It's fucking sad and it's gross, dude. And I hate that it's invaded this industry and, and this hobby that I love. I hate that something like this shitty and ugly has now come this far to the forefront. It's like to the point where I really like I'm shining a light on it but I'm also giving it attention. I'm conflicted, like, do I even keep talking about it? Like, if we all just shut the fuck up about it, would it just go away? Probably, but it's crooked the way CGC's doing this. Like, it's crooked they got these 10.0s and 9.9s. I can't fuck with that. Like, yo, you guys are really just defrauding people out here up front. Like, we could see it now. We could see it days ahead now that it's gonna happen. Like, you guys already did it. I hate that I had to waste another video on acetate gate, but, if you're like me, you wonder what's going on, and it's something that's going on in the community right now, so I feel like it's worthwhile of, of time to, to share this info with you. I want to thank everyone for the likes, for the subscribes. Remember, we got our giveaway, our big giveaway, as soon as the shipment gets back from CGC. X-Men number one, D cover, graded, signed by Jim Lee. 
It was a PC book out of Chris's collection, so I'm not promising you a 9.8. Clearly, I could pay CGC for a 10.0. That's probably what I should have done. But if you want to be entered to win that, remember to like, subscribe, make your subscription public so I can see you. All you have to do is be a subscriber the day that shipment gets back. We will crack it open. We will select the names on video for the winner, and you will get your prize. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.